We've been showing you this video for days now, a seven-year-old thrown against a bus window. Today, 24-hour News 8's Leon Hendricks went after the woman in the video, Galesburg Augusta Transportation Supervisor Heidi Mullins. Leon is live with what happened. Leon. Ryan and Sue, good evening. Of course, she is the now former transportation supervisor. Didn't have a whole lot, of, a lot to say now that she's in the center of a criminal investigation. Hey, Heidi. We caught up with the woman not only involved in a whirlwind of controversy, but also a criminal investigation after she was caught on tape slamming a young student into the side walls of a school bus. Sit down. But today as we approached Heidi Mullen in her driveway, she was quiet as she zoomed away from our cameras. When she returned home, we tried again to get her side of the story. Obviously, we know you're in there with you. Is there anything you want to say to explain why? You might have thrown that kid up against the window. The community expressed its frustrations in a packed meeting last night, and many questions remain about the private company picked up to run the school's transportation department. The company is called Auxilio out of Ohio. How was it selected? And who did it hire in its rushed effort to fill bus driver seats? We've already learned that Mullins had a past record. She was on last warning with the Portage schools for none other than losing her cool with students while driving the bus. District Superintendent Tim Vatt didn't return calls today, and when we caught up with him face to face in his office, he said he was too busy for an interview. We asked for a list of the people trusted with driving Galesburg kids. He said the district doesn't have one. And one of the big questions is with this record at Portage, how could this driver have gotten hired by Auxilio? We have learned that there is a documentation, a documented um, record where they've, where, where Auxilio asked Portage Public Schools if this woman had a record, any negative information in her personnel file. And we've learned that the district said that there was nothing negative there. Reporting live in Galesburg, Leon Hendricks, 24 Hour News 8.